bastard things. Oh, I never should have let him go alone. Ty, take me, what am I gonna do? You! You've got to help me. Shula said you were a force to be reckoned with, are you? Uh, why do you ask? Hey? Oh, sorry, I should explain. My name's Kitav. I'm worried about a friend of mine. He went into the forest and he hasn't come back. Would you help me find him? I can try. Tell me what I need to know. Of course. Uh, you know about the glamour our ancestors cast to keep this place hidden, right? Shula told us about it, yes. Right, so you know the cairns we use to maintain the spell? Well, it's me and my friend's job to maintain them. If it weren't for the likes of us, it would have faded years ago. So your friend went into the forest to visit one of these cairns? Aye, that's right. He said he was going down to Father's Fell. There are two cairns out that way, one by the banks of the Swift Run, and another near the Winged Wains, the, uh, ships in the forest. All right. How will I know this friend of yours? His name's Nasef. He's about my height, but clean-shaven. If you could track him down and see that he's come to no harm, I'd be much obliged. I'll search the village, just in case anyone's seen him, and meet you back here. Very well. One came by the ships, another by the river. Better get moving. Hail, stranger. Is the mineral Pavar was talking about. The one that rings out like a bell. Well, here's the can. But no sign of Nasef. To the riverbank, then. Looking for a man named Nasef. Aye, I know him. Takes care of the cans. Wait, you didn't think I was him, did you? Sorry, mate, I'm just out to gym me sell a few ibexes. What do you want with the lad, anyway? Uh, his friend, Katav, asked me to look for him. Apparently he ventured out to work on one of these cans. And didn't return. Well, that is a worry. You're a hunter, yes? You must know the woods as well as anyone. Can you think where he might have gone? Uh, there's a bridge further down the path. Blasted thing got washed away a few moons back. Our carpenter only recently had time to rebuild it. But if I remember rightly, 
There is another cairn on the far side. Maybe he decided to visit that one while he was here. Maybe it's worth a look, certainly. Thank you. Don't mention it. I'll keep an eye out, too. Perhaps he just got delayed or something. Let's hope so. the hunter was talking about. Oh, thank you. The... Uh... I'm the tributary's guest. And you must be Nasef. I am? But how do you know that? Your friend Katav asked me to look for you when you didn't return. Ah... Uh, I'm sorry. I was so focused on attuning the cairn, I didn't see those creatures come until it was too late. How exactly do they work? Oh, that there are crystals inside. They're what keeps the glamour going. Should the ether cease to flow through too many of them, our shroud would quickly unravel. It's my job to make sure that doesn't happen. And an important job it is. But you'll struggle to do it if you're dead. You need to take more care. Yeah, no arguments there. The truth is, me and Katav usually work together, watching each other's backs like. But when we heard outsiders were coming, we split up to get the job done faster, so things would be perfect for your arrival. <sighs> Stupid, I know. So you found him then? Not before the local fauna did. My arrival seemed to put them off their dinner. <laughs> Mustn't have been hungry after all. Expect you'll be wanting someone to escort you back to the village then, Nasef. The woods are full of nasties today. When you're next in Haven, be sure to come and see us. You saved my life. It's only right I repay you. If you insist. Take care now.
I thought I'd lost you. But you saw to it that I was found. Thank you. Nasev told me everything. If you hadn't got there when you did... Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. All that matters is that you're safe. Far be it from me to tell you how to do your jobs, but... Don't go alone again. Or if we have to, maybe we should think about casting the glamour on ourselves to keep the wildlife from spotting us. It'd take its toll, of course, but it'd beat letting the cairns fall and having to weave the entire spell from scratch. Imagine if we had to do that. <laughs> I'd rather not. We'd only succeed in adding two new piles of stone to the collection. <laughs> Your bearers? That we are, thank the tides. The others can't attune to the crystals in the cairns the same way we can. I reckon this place would be doomed without us. <laughs> so, you do this work for the good of your people, not because... We're forced to. No. From what I've heard of the way things work on the outside, we were truly blessed that our rain fell here in Mysidia. Our people are few enough as it is. If we started turning on each other, kin against kin over nothing but a stupid accident of birth. Our days would be numbered. They would. Anyway, all's well that ends well, eh? Thanks to you, both of us live to keep this place hidden another day. Are you a rider, by any chance? I am. What gave me away? Oh, I can smell it on you. The scent of the stables. And not just any stables. Something tells me you've never been one to ride half-starved birds with chine gall and wet beak. If I had a guess, I'd say your bird eats only the finest greens and has her feathers groomed twice a day with a curl hairbrush. <laughs> Nothing but the best for my Ambrosia. Ambrosia, eh? Pretty name. What's she like? Well, she's tall and strong. And her feathers are as white as snow. You're joking. You've got a white chocobo. I have, yes. I suppose they are rather rare. This I've got to see. Can you bring her here? I would if I could, but I doubt Shula's skiff could hold her. Me dad's got a boat, and he's very chocobos before. You could get him to bring her. It'll be perfect timing and all. He's preparing for a trip beyond the wall as we speak. I'm sure he'd help you if you asked. He would. Well, I don't suppose it would hurt to have Ambrosia around. All right then. Where could I find your father? He'll be in the storehouse on the other side of the brook. Tell him Manda sent you. You one of the outsiders, then? I am. Shula invited me. Are you Manda's father? I am. <laughs> Got you running errands for her already, has she? She's asked to see my chocobo, but I'd need your help and your boat to bring her here. <sighs> or you could just say no. Honestly, that girl and her birds shall be growing feathers soon enough. Well, truth be told, I didn't take the idea seriously at first. But thinking about it, it would make it easier to get around if I had Ambrosia here. Can you help? 
If you're sure that's what you want. The tributary says where to treat you lot as we would each other. So if you need me to ferry your bird over, then that's what I'll do. Still, they don't take the water easily. I'll need you to bring us a mimic goat or two to keep her calm on the journey over. And uh, where would I find one of those? Oh, don't ask me. It's been years since I last brought a chocobo across the bay, and I'm told the world's changed a fair bit since then. Where do you usually get your stable supplies from? Well, the man who made Ambrosia's tack lived in Martha's Rest, and if I remember correctly, he traded in chocobo feed too. So I suppose I'll go and ask him. I'll be sailing over to Northreach soon to pick up some supplies. While I do that, you collect your bird and your gourd, and then meet me by the shore. Just don't take too long, all right? Remember you? You're the one who saved Whiteheart. How's the old girl doing? She's very well. Thank you. Oh, don't thank me. You're the one who saved her. Anyway, Ma brings you to the rest today. I was hoping to purchase a Mimit gourd. And I thought you might be able to tell me where I could find one. Oh, reckon I could do better than that. Just so happens. I've got a whole carload of the blasted things, not a buyer in sight. Really? Aye, you'd be doing me a favor taking a few off my hands before they turn to mush. But just be on the lookout for wild birds, eh? You don't want them chasing after you like they did me. <laughs> I will. And thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Any friend of Whiteheart is a friend of mine. And in times like these, Friends have got to stick together. We certainly do. Northridge, then. Wouldn't want to keep Ender's father waiting. Those things didn't fight like men. This must be Ambrosia, was it? Oh, she's a real beauty, isn't she? I have the mimic or two. Here. Thank you kindly. As soon as she's gobbled this up, we'll set sail. We're going to take a little trip across the bay now, Ambrosia. Don't worry. You'll be all right. Wow. 
Well, we made it. You did and all? <clears throat> she is as white as snow. You're beautiful, aren't you, girl? Brave, too. She was calm as you like on the journey over. The mimic gourd will have played its part, of course, but passing through the walls is enough to spook most birds even then. Not this one, though. Ambrosia's been through a lot. I doubt there's much that could unnerve her now. Not with a beloved master by her side. No. It's you who looks after me, isn't it, girl? Anyway, thanks for bringing her here. I hope I can breed a bird like her someday. And if you and Ambrosia need ferrying back to Northreach, you only need say the word. Thank you. But I think we might explore Missidia together. What do you say, Ambrosia?